Hey folks and welcome. This is the month six update video for my Otis.Global case study website series of videos. Project Icarus. So the last few months for this site have been pretty interesting. And today we'll look at my Google spreadsheet and both Google Analytics and Google Search Console, as well as talk about some data from my SERP robot. All right, for those of you who are new to this video series, this is a site that I started in January of 2022. This is an aged domain done in collaboration with Otis.Global. If you wanna know more about the backstory, you're welcome to catch the original videos. The link is in the description. So let's talk about traffic. What you see here on the screen is actually my Google Sheets spreadsheet that shows just the traffic from January to June of this year. You can see things got a slow start and look like in around May that things were headed finally in the right direction. January and February, we did struggle a bit with indexing issues, but I thought that in March and April, May, that that was pretty much solved and we were like headed to the races. I was feeling so good about the site that I actually placed an order for another $1,000 uh, of content written by a freelancer and I gave that individual like six to eight weeks to get it done. I wasn't stressing, but then comes along May. Now you can see the difference between May, 2022 and June, 2022. There is obviously a, a difference, but given that the site has not that much traffic overall, you know, you could say that the loss of 400 page views in a month is not necessarily that big of a deal in the long run compared to some of the losses other sites have suffered. And I do agree. I just note that it did cut the leg out of the momentum that this site was seeing and I was definitely expecting to see some major growth in June and instead of seeing major growth in June we saw a loss. Before we talk about that I just want to jump over really quick to the Google Analytics. What you see here is the site traffic that's going through the URL from January 1st to the end of June. You can ignore the spike there in February. I'm pretty sure that was bot traffic but overall it, it looks like the site is go headed in the right direction and you can't necessarily see just because of the scale and the amount of impact by the Google update. It just doesn't look like a big deal as far as looking at this graph. But I do think the impressions line in Google Search Console tells a better story. So we'll squeak on over to Google Search Console. And what you see here is just the impressions line. I'm completely ignoring the average position and the, the blue line for the clicks. You can see that in May, right before the update rolled out, the site looked like it was really catching some fire as far as Google indexing the articles and like starting to really push them in response to search queries. And then you you can see the peak and things went downhill fast. I don't know for sure what is going on specifically with this site, but the one thing that I did notice for this site in particular is that a good portion of the URLs that had been shown as indexed in my server robot and indexed in Google Search Console, all of a sudden, the week of the update, went to not found. Now, Google Search Console says all of those URLs are indexed. It says they're all green, but SERP robot can't find them. And I think personally for this site that the reason that purple line has gone down, that traffic was impacted, is those articles were, I don't wanna say shadow de-indexed. I don't know what the technical term for it is. It's like they're lost in the ether somewhere. I have started working to manually index those articles just using the, the manual index function in Google Search Console. If that doesn't get them found, I will have to potentially pursue ad additional methods to see if I can get those back in the index. Now, when I saw this information, I thought, oh, maybe the indexing situation is what's happening potentially to my other sites. If you follow me, you know that the Mega site took between a um, somewhere between 20 and 30 percent hit if you take into account the momentum that the site lost and the fight site also was impacted now i haven't been tracking keywords with the mega site so i fired up my soap robot account for that site and started putting the keywords in and i was honestly almost hopeful that the URLs would show up as not found so that I would have like a problem that I could attack, like something fixable, right? So far I have set up 300 URLs to track just the first 300 posts that I posted on the Mega site. And guess what? There were only two URLs that showed up as not found, meaning I just assume they're lost from the index somewhere. So I'm going to finish and track the rest of the Mega site URLs just to check, but I'm not I'm not thinking that that's the problem. 
for that particular site. For this site, for my Odostock Global site, I do think that whatever happened during the update that caused those URLs to just go to the mysterious not found land, the mysterious uh, indexed but not land, trying to get those URLs to pop will definitely be the focus in the next month or so. Plans going forward, the content that I ordered for this site at the end of April did not actually end up coming in for various reasons, but it's a bummer because I was planning on using that content and then it's not here and I didn't write it myself and now I have to figure out some other way to get that done either from another provider or writing it myself, but that will be a focus for me in July on this site. So I'm definitely not giving up, definitely not trying to scale back on this site. Yes, it was impacted, but frankly, the traffic on the site overall was just sort of minimal. So even though it is down, it's not like it was down from thousands and thousands of page views a month. It really only lost a couple hundred page views in any given month. And I feel like things are going well enough that it's worthwhile to continue to work on this project. That's what I got, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.